The week's artillery drills in Serbia mark a quiet but consequential shift in regional military balances. After months of diplomatic choreography and commercial paperwork, Serbian gunners and Azerbaijani crews are now sharing the same firing lines, moving ammunition, and running fire mission cycles together on Serbia's latest Nora B-52 M15 155mm self-propelled howitzers. The practical setting is prosaic, classrooms and motor pools in niche, live-fire lanes at the Pasiljansk Livade training area, but the purpose is emphatic, prepare Azerbaijan's artillerymen to accept, integrate and fight with a modern wheeled 52 caliber gun as soon as deliveries arrive. This sort of training is not a parade. It is the nuts and bolts phase of a procurement, when good intentions and signed contracts either mature into capability or stall in teething problems. Early signs point to the former. What makes these sessions noteworthy is the blend of political momentum and technical detail. The calendar is tight, senior exchanges in Baku earlier in October established the tone, economic talks in Belgrade on 23-24 October underscored the continuity of the relationship, and the very next day mixed Serbian-Azerbaijani teams began a two-week program that runs from basic procedures to full live-fire sequences. That sequencing matters. Anyone can hold photo ops around an artillery piece, what actually changes combat power is disciplined repetition, occupy the position, lay the gun, compute a fire solution, shoot, displace, re-enter the cycle, execute it until it becomes muscle memory. Serbia has been drilling its own units on the M15 for several years. Exporting that training syllabus is now part of the deliverable. The Nora in question is a truck-mounted, 52 caliber 155 mm system built by Yugo Import SDPR with design heritage from the Military Technical Institute. Its headline virtues are automation and mobility, automated laying and loading assistance, a digital fire control environment, and an 8x8 chassis that covers distance quickly and sets up faster than tracked counterparts. With standard ammunition, published performance sits around a 40 km band with extended-range projectiles like VLAP, shots can reach the mid-50s. More important than brochure numbers is the first-minute cadence. The battery can throw the opening three rounds in roughly 20 seconds, a tempo aligned with modern counter-battery realities where survival hinges on beating sensors and return fire by seconds, not minutes. Serbia has treated the weapon as a system, not a standalone gun. The M15 iteration folds in a protected crew cabin, blast mitigation features consistent with common Stanag baselines, and an option for a remote weapon station to manage close-in threats during the vulnerable moments of emplacement and displacement. Equally significant is ammunition compatibility. By adhering to JBMOU standards for 155mm, the platform can employ a wide mix of available rounds, including precision and base bleed variants, without creating exotic supply chains. For operators who must scale firepower under budget pressure, this combination, commercially sane logistics, credible reach, and rapid shoot and scoot, explains the appeal. Azerbaijan's interest is not hard to parse. Its artillery park blends legacy Soviet pattern systems with newer Western caliber assets. Standardizing a larger slice of long-range fires around a wheeled 155mm-52 caliber gun simplifies training pathways, consolidates maintenance regimes, and enables consistent effects at range. A tracked heavyweight like Germany's PZH-2000 brings protection and magazine depth, but at high cost in mass and sustainment. The Nora concept trades that armor for speed and simplicity, landing closer to the French school of fast road march, quick setup howitzers. In range and rate, its performance envelope is broadly competitive with other contemporary wheeled designs, where it differentiates is in price, industrial availability, and a training pipeline Serbia has refined through constant use. Contracts give the arrangement shape. Open sources indicate Baku signed in 2024 for roughly 48 Nora B-52 NG-M15 family howitzers and a support package, with program value frequently cited in the $339 to $340 million range. 
spread across guns, spares, training, and ancillary vehicles, that implies an average program cost near $7 million per system, a number that helps explain why wheeled guns have surged in popularity among mid-sized militaries. Serbia has exported earlier Nora variants to several countries, but this is the most recent and largest publicly disclosed order. The joint drills underway in Serbia fit the well-worn pattern of post-contract workups that precede public handovers and national flag ceremonies. If the hardware is the visible part of the iceberg, the less photogenic layers beneath are what accelerate capability. Azerbaijan's crews are not just learning to push rounds downrange, they are absorbing a Serbian playbook that has been iterated under demanding training cycles since 2023. That includes rehearsing rapid occupation of firing positions, synchronizing multi-round missions across batteries, integrating UAV queuing for time-sensitive targets, and adopting communications disciplines that let dispersed units mass effects without massing themselves physically. Battery and battalion staffs refine counter-fire drills, detect, decide, fire, scoot, so the whole chain shortens from minutes to seconds. A two-week syllabus cannot create mastery, but it can erase most of the friction that plagues first-generation fielding. The strategic read-through is twofold. Bilaterally, Belgrade and Baku are turning defense dialogue into repeatable routines, doctrine transfer, crew proficiency, maintenance know-how, and supply chain familiarization. That kind of practical intimacy is harder to unwind than a communique, because it produces personal networks up and down the ranks. Regionally, the South Caucasus gains another layer of long-reach, mobile fires that complicate any adversary's calculus. Range bands, road mobility, and reaction times dictate deterrence in this theater as much as unit counts do. A wheeled 52 caliber system with credible extended range munitions increases the number of logistics nodes, air defense gaps, and artillery positions that must be respected or defended, often at longer standoff than before. It is also an industrial story. Serbia's defense sector has built a reputation for designing to the constraints of buyers that need capability in quantity without Western European price tags. Validating that proposition requires not just exporting metal but exporting reliability, training that works, spares that arrive, software that gets patched, and instructors who answer the phone when a unit hits a snag. The ongoing course is, in that sense, a live demonstration of life cycle support. It shows prospective customers that the Nora line is not a boutique project but a program with depth, tech manuals translated, simulators working, logistics tail mapped, and experienced crews available to transfer habits, not just specifications. Comparisons are inevitable, and they are useful mostly to clarify trade-offs. Against the French 8x8 archetype, the Serbian platform emphasizes a similar thesis, speed of deployment over heavy armor, long reach with ERF BBB or VLAP class ammunition, rapid displacement to defeat counter-battery radar. Compared with a turreted track design, the M15's lighter mass and wheeled chassis mean easier road marches, lower fuel burn, and simpler depot infrastructure, albeit with less protection in the gun platform itself. In an ISR-saturated battle space where survival is often a function of seconds, the ability to fire, fold, and move quickly is a form of protection in its own right. The calendar sets expectations. Political framing in early October, economic talks in Belgrade on 23-24 October, joint training beginning on the 23rd and running for two weeks, these are the interlocking pieces that typically culminate in a public unveiling and initial handovers not long after. If that arc holds, Azerbaijan's artillery will enter 2026 with a larger cohort of crews already conversant in the M15 and a training pipeline capable of scaling. For Serbia, a smooth rollout reinforces the message that its flagship howitzer is not just competitive on paper but export-ready in practice. What happens on a windswept range in southern Serbia tends not to grab global headlines, yet it frequently determines whether billions spent on artillery translate into real combat power. Here, the signs are encouraging, a platform suited to the buyer's needs, a training regimen that addresses the first battles crews actually fight, 
against unfamiliar interfaces, slow command flows, and maintenance surprises, and a political context that supports predictable schedules. The substance of deterrence is built from such details. A battery that can get three rounds out in 20 seconds, shift grid squares, and repeat the cycle without breaking pace changes how commanders plan. Multiply that across a battalion with coherent logistics and consistent procedures, and you have more than hardware, you have a fire system ready to matter on day one.